welcome everyone to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and I'm going to show you everything new in the third beta of iOS 15. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into this. Starting off here in Safari, you can now reload pages in Safari with just a haptic touch. Long hold on that smart URL bar there at the bottom, and it'll bring up a menu where there's a reload option that you can do without having to go to the top of the screen. Safari also has that new bar staying along the keyboard towards the bottom. So before it would jump to the top to the bottom whenever you would open the keyboard, now it sticks right there to the keyboard. There's a new quick search option in Safari, and the Safari search results actually match the system. So you can see all the results here. When we search for Apple, it matches any other search you do, whether it's in Spotlight or anything else. The music widget has been redesigned ever so slightly. It usually has a red background, but now if I start playing music, it'll change its background to match the current album that's playing. If we go to the App Store, we have a new splash screen that touts new features, including highlights of in-app events, the new App Store widget, and Safari extensions coming to iOS. Moving to the Settings app, Focus has a new option to allow calls from everybody. Before you'd have to whitelist everyone manually, now it can automatically allow everyone to get a hold of you in whichever focus mode that is. And the focus status has a new explainer here in the settings as well. So it makes a little bit more sense for people to understand what that status does in like the messages app. We have new menu glyphs for all these focus mode options here in settings. You can see those along that left hand side. And we've also seen location-based suggestions for focus mode, like when you arrive home. Inside of the maps settings, if we go down toward the bottom, there's the spoken directions. There's some new options here, including that new directions on radio, which is very interesting. It says on cars to support it, here are spoken directions when you're listening to the radio and you're not listening to your iPhone's audio. Speaking of audio, there are new background sounds options in the shortcuts app. And if we go up to that search bar there at the top, Anytime you're entering text, you now have the option to insert from camera, where you can just scan something, whether a business card or a sign. Now when you do that, there's just a little icon that shows that scan from camera, versus before where it actually had the text, uh, text from camera. If you go to the settings, whenever you're resetting your phone, there's a new view and it prompts you, uh, maybe if you're setting up a new iPhone, what you may want to do. And this is just speculation, but there may be support for the new MagSafe battery pack that is launching on July 19th. It otherwise requires iOS 14.7, which is in RC mode right now. So we could see support for that here in the beta for any developers or public beta testers to use Apple's new battery pack. So that covers it. That is everything that I found so far uh, in the newest beta of iOS 15. That is developer beta 3 public beta should be just around the corner. Let me know what you guys think. Have you found any other changes that I missed in this video? Let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and stay tuned. So much more iOS 15 content coming down the line.